The most of the 92 whiskey in the United States Army is a water treatment specialist. And before we dive into this brief summary of the MOS, maybe hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel. Even think about enabling notifications so you get notified as soon as new videos go live, including live streams. Now let's dive into some of the job requirements that go along with being a 92 whiskey in the United States Army. And yes, by the way, this was Polly Shore's MOS in the great movie In the Army Now. Probably not very realistic to the MOS, but let's talk about some of those job duties of the actual MOS in the United States Army. So those primary job duties of a 92 Whiskey in the United States Army are going to include things like operating and maintaining water treatment equipment, distribution and storage of purified water, and much more. This MOS is available for active duty National Guard and reservists in the United States Army, and it is going to require an individual to either have a high school diploma or a GED, as well as take the ASVAB and get a qualifying AFQT score to qualify you for the United States Army. But specifically for this MOS is going to come from a specific subject on that ASVAB. As an individual is going to have to score at least an 88 on the general maintenance section of the ASVAB. Now that general maintenance score on the ASVAB is going to come from four subjects that are included. Those topics are going to include general science, auto and shop, mathematics knowledge, and electronics information. Now the training to become a 92 Whiskey in the United States Army will include the normal 10 weeks of basic training and from there a soldier will go on to 14 weeks at Fort Lee, Virginia for AIT. Now I have worked with individuals in this MOS. When I was in the 30 ACR, we had a separate platoon that was basically all 92 whiskeys that did the water purification, especially like when we were in Iraq, they were a key asset to purifying the water in the local area to, for us to have drinking water, sometimes for humanitarian aid to you know, support some of the locals to get them some drinking water that was clean uh, compared to maybe you know, some of the harsh environments they were subject to. So contrary to what Polly Shore says in the movie In the Army Now, you're not going to be going into combat with water balloons. You do have a vital role in a combat situation to purify water. So that is the common role of this MOS. They were purifying the water. They would also you know, handle the storage of it. They had these huge blivets that they would store the water inside of that would also have to be transported to, especially like some of our remote outposts that didn't have access to drinking water. So we'd bring that out to them you know, via this. These people would be purifying the water, transporting inside of either some kind of tanker or some kind of water blivet and take it out to those individuals in that remote outpost to be able to have drinking water to utilize. Now, as far as jobs outside of the army, they could still translate pretty much directly into water purification. You could be working for the city to work at treatment plants, maybe bottling companies. You'd be working for government agencies to go to other countries to help out, help them out with like relief, you know, maybe in a disaster or whatever the case is to provide them with some kind of, you know, drinking water that is, you know, acceptable. Individuals in this MOS work with a lot of that equipment. So a lot of that equipment helps translate over into the civilian side to be able to work with that equipment to purify the water. So this MOS can translate very well into the civilian sector. So if I have any viewers out there right now that are currently in the United States Army as a 92 Whiskey, or maybe even previously in the Army as this MOS, make sure to drop some comments down below. Let me know what you liked and didn't like about the MOS to help out some of those future individuals that are maybe interested in coming into the Army to become a water treatment specialist. Additionally, if there's an MOS out there that I have not yet covered that you are interested in, make sure to drop that down in the comments as well. I like to look to the comments to decide on what to cover in the next episode. All right, so there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed that summary of that MOS. If so, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Check out links down in the description, maybe even some videos over here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Christopher Chaos, and I will see you next time. See ya.